engineering, huh? Opposition. It's the goof of all time. Look, but don't touch. Touch, but don't taste. You got that from Vickers. Work in Essex County, page 98, right? Yeah, I read that too. Were you gonna plagiarize the whole thing for us? Do you have any thoughts of your own on this matter? The biggest thing that's invisible to us is what we don't know. It is incredible how little we know. Thomas Edison once said, we don't know 1% of one millionth about anything. Kids will take a chance. You know, if they don't know, they'll have a go. Am I right? They're not frightened of being wrong. Now, I don't mean to say that being wrong is the same thing as being creative. What we do know is, if you're not prepared to be wrong, you'll never come up with anything original. If you're not prepared to be wrong. Two roads diverged in the woods, and I took the road less traveled. It hurt, man! Not cool, Robert Frost! But what if there really were two paths? I want to be in the one that leads to awesome. Did it? You solved Coleman's enigma. How did you do it, Professor? Professor? No, I'm not a professor. Well, I suggest you gentlemen invent a way to put a square peg in a round hole. Rapidly. Okay, people, listen up. People upstairs, candidates this one, and we gotta come through. We gotta find a way to make this fit into the hole for this, using nothing but that. Let's get it organized. OK, OK, let's, let's build a filter. A teacher told him he was too stupid to learn anything, and he should go into a field where he might succeed by virtue of his pleasant personality. Fired from a newspaper because he lacked imagination and had no original ideas. His fiance died, he failed in business twice, he had a nervous breakdown, and he was defeated in eight elections. If you've never failed, you've never lived. Cadet Kirk, evidence has been submitted to this council suggesting that you violated the ethical code of conduct pursuant to regulation 17.43 of the Starfleet Code. You somehow managed to install and activate a subroutine in the programming code, thereby changing the conditions of the test. Your point being? In academic vernacular, you cheated. The test itself is a cheat, isn't it? I mean, you programmed it to be unwinnable. Your argument precludes the possibility of a no-win scenario. I don't believe in no-win scenarios. Then not only did you violate the rules, you also failed to understand the principal lesson. Please. Combat training. She 
jujitsu. I'm going to learn jujitsu. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And we're now running national education systems where mistakes are the worst thing you can make. And the result is that we are educating people out of their creative capacities. We have to be careful now that we use this gift wisely. And the only way we'll do it is by seeing our creative capacities for the richness they are and seeing our children for the hope that they are. And our task is to educate their whole being so they can face this future. By the way, we may not see this future, but they will. And our job is to help them make something of it. You should be educated. And in the education, you should value science, engineering, technology, and math. If you do so, you get to innovate and invent new industries, new economies. If you invent new economies, everybody has jobs tomorrow. I couldn't be more happy to be putting my engineering skills into this product because it leverages not only the math and science that I work so hard to learn, but it also leverages my creativity. And engineering is such a creative thing, and I never knew it. And it's so fun for me to get to use my creative voice and my artistic skills as a part of engineering. And it's so important that we include that perspective. And the other thing that's so great about it is engineering is for people. I, I, I realized this when I was a kid. I was 12, and I said, oh, I wonder what profession all these sen senators and congressmen were. Law, 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 businessman, law, law. And I said, you know, where are the engineers? Where's the rest of life? We are all bags of meat and water. We all start with the same tools. I love the idea that different branches of science are called fields of study. Most people think of science as a closed black box, and in fact, it is an open field. And we are all explorers. The people that made these discoveries just thought a little bit harder about what they were looking at, and they were a little bit more curious. And their curiosity changed the way people thought about the world, and thus it changed the world. They changed the world, and so can you. This is your time. This is my time. It's our time.